Hello again, this tutorial we're going to take a look at the split and parse text component. So the use for that one is if you have a lot of text and you would like to extract some value within that text without having to chop up the text uh, multiple times and like that. So to demonstrate this I'm going to use the formatted text component and I'm going to open up the text editor and type some text here. The value of gold and type some value. Uh, the temperature and dollar value. Um, like so and um, if I send that text into the the parse text component I have a couple of ways to extract that uh, personally I used mostly I use the text uh, outputs so I'm gonna add three of those I'm gonna take four of them okay and I input this text and I'm gonna output it somehow no I'm gonna leave it like that okay I'm gonna take the those outputs and I'm gonna take the second one only first so what you got here are four four outputs and the way to control what text goes to which output is in this text so <coughs> it's two way you can uh, decide the outputs the first way is to just type the percentage sign that means that the first time the percentage sign shows up that's gonna be the same as the first output and the second is gonna be the second output and third the third output and so on the other way to do it is to type pretty much the same way as you do in the formatted text component uh, if you're using inputs in there so you can type the number after the percentage sign that represents which output alright so I'm gonna take everything in the start of this text is gonna be the first text showing up in this text box so if I have see I'm gonna open open this up first copy the text so I know what what I'm working with open notepad and type the text okay so first I've got uh, in the split parse component the percentage sign that means that the very start is gonna be showing up on the first output. The way to, to shop off the text, stop the text or decide where to extract the text you want is to type that text out somehow. So if I copy this text and paste it in here and gonna let's say I'm gonna type it like that this means that the first part of the text is going to be representing the percentage zero and as soon as this gold colon space shows up that's going to be this area and that's not going to be outputted but whatever comes after this text this is going to be showing up on the percentage one um, right now this is probably not going to work because I only use one output uh, I don't use these two to, to make this one output uh, without needing to output all four of them I'm gonna tick this checkbox so press OK I'm gonna press that one and that means <coughs> I don't have to fill up all outputs to, to output a value otherwise it's gonna be locked 
So I'm going to try to upload this, and uh, like so. I'm going to show the serial terminal first off, and like so. Okay, it's outputting all the time. I'm going to disconnect so I show what, what's coming out. Alright, so now it shows this is the output this so on the second output that means the percentage 1 percentage 0 is the first one percentage 1 is everything after gold space is gonna be output you see here 1 2 3 1 2 3 and then the next row and the row after that and so on so if I only would like the 1 2 3 I need to type the text that comes after that. That means the temperature or the or whatever. So I'm gonna take that that text and set it in here and space sorry, new row and press OK. So what happens now? I, I'm gonna test it. I don't think it's gonna output anything, but I'm not sure because I still don't have a percentage after that text. So I'm gonna show what happens. Oh, okay, it works. Okay. Uh, if it wouldn't work, that means that you have to ignore the end. That should mean that it ignores whatever after the the value you you, uh, you have lost in this box <clears throat> so okay if I would like to pipe all sort of trash after this one I could pipe it to some other output so sometimes I'd like to to extract all the values that I want and everything before that and everything after that I'm gonna pipe to a trash output. So I'm going to trash some values that I, uh, that I don't want. So I'm going to just type trash here. Trash. Then I know everything on percentage zero is going to be outputted to nothing. I'm just going to trash it. Alright. I'm going to use a clock here. So I better control of, of uh, the formatted text output. Uh, next time, next output <coughs> is gonna be the temperature, so I'd like to extract this one. So, if it's just as on the second row as it is now, right now, <coughs> I could use this and copy that, paste it in here, and whatever comes after that is gonna be the third output like so. Um, if there's a lot of text and the text changes a lot in between here, sometimes you might use the output from a HTML text and that text might differ from time to time. Um, new rows gonna be added and stuff like that. Then I need to trash whatever is in between the goal line and the temperature line. It could be some random stuff showing up there every once in a while. So route right now I have okay, let's see, I've got dollar value and that is at the end here. So I, I'd like to remove this. I'm gonna pipe that to the trash. And that's after this. Um no, sorry, I'm just gonna end it like so. Now it's gonna skip everything after that. Upload and... So, if I had, let's say I had some random text over here now, let's say I have, have a dynamic source that changes the values and stuff and lines, more lines and less lines uh, in between the gold value and the temperature value, then I might need to just use a new row for example like this and <coughs> let's
let's say I have something like this percentage zero that means it's gonna output everything between the new line symbol character and the chur on the temperature that's gonna be outputted to the trash as well so it should be the same value showing up as it just did right now but the the good part of it to use that way of working is if it has if you have a dynamic source that shows up all the time uh, different ways uh, so it's the same output but the only difference is that some of this text I'm gonna output on the trash uh, and I'm gonna take the last text which is uh, let's see <coughs> last text is the dollar value okay like so don't need all the text uh, I could pipe this to the zero and just the same way as I did recently and the dollar value I'm gonna output that to the third I need a space over here as well because it's a space in the original text okay I got all the three values so if I'd like to make some kind of better looking output I could use the format the text again elements now it's gonna look a bit useless since uh, I have the same structure in this one as well but uh, this is just for demonstration demonstration purposes only uh, the second one over there third one and the last one okay now I have all the three values um, presented in a nicer way so that should be enough to get you started with a split parse component it's a very powerful component that could be used in all sort of uh, scenarios now you could run into some issues if you have a delimiter with only one character if you have that I would suggest that you change out that character to some multiple characters instead with the replace text component uh, but you're gonna manage to to figure it out as time goes by so you just try play around and uh, good luck <laughs>